Hello and welcome to Mr. D's Science Videos. In this video I'm going to be explaining reflexes and synapses. So I'm going to start with reflexes. Now a reflex is a very rapid response that our body makes to the environment in order to protect us from harm. And I'm going to go for an example to explain how it works. Okay. So someone's left a pin out on the table. If I happen to be walking by and put my hand on the pin, I would very quickly pull my hand away. Now this is the reflex that allows me to protect my body from harm. I'm going to go through the pathway. So the first part of it would be the stimulus, and that would be the pin. So the stimulus is the pin. I'm detecting that with receptors. And the receptors in this example are pain receptors in my skin. So pain receptors in skin. And they are what detect that stimulus. The next step is to be passed via the sensory neuron to the relay neuron. Now here's the key difference. In the other response that we looked at, this went to the brain. However, in this example, it goes to the spinal cord. Now it's important that it goes to the spinal cord because this allows the response to be much quicker than if it went to the brain. It would then be communicated by the motor neuron, which is another neuron, and obviously it would be an electrical impulse in the neurons, and then to an effect in which would be a muscle or a gland. In this example, it will be a muscle, and the muscle will then cause me to pull my arm away from the stimulus. The response would be to move away from the stimulus. So that is a um, simple explanation of a reflex. Now obviously there are loads of other examples. For example, if you look at the sun accidentally, you automatically close your eyes and look away. That's just another example. So another thing you need to know is about synapses. So synapses are the gaps between different neurons. So here we have the sensory neuron, and the message must get from the sensory neuron to the relay neuron. Now, obviously, it's travelling by an electrical impulse, but electricity can't jump over that gap. So what happens is when the electrical impulse reaches the end of the sensory neuron, the sensory neuron releases a chemical which diffuses across the gap. So chemical diffuses across the gap and then binds to the relay neuron. Once that electrical impulse, once that chemical signal reaches the relay neuron, an electrical impulse is generated along here, and then the same would happen here between the relay neuron and the motor neuron. Now something they may ask you, something I've seen a few times in exam papers, is they ask you about effect of drugs on this. Now you don't know any specific examples, but they may say that a specific drug increases the amount of chemical, what would that do to the response? Now if they increase the amount of chemical, it would increase our response, which might be to move our muscle more. Okay, that's a very simple example. Uh, so that's it for this video, thank you for watching. If you have any requests for videos, please leave that in the comments, and if uh, please do like, share and subscribe. Uh, also on Twitter at Rushcliffe Bio. Thank you very much.